Hello everyone, welcome back to the MongoDB tutorials. These tutorials are brought to you by ZTUP Technologies and Services. In the previous few videos, we have uh, learned about the introduction of MongoDB and its essential features. So from this video onwards, we are going to see its practical applications. But before that, uh, we are going to show you the process through which you can use the Amazon Web Services Cloud9 IDE uh, or the Cloud9 terminal precisely to just write the MongoDB commands. So basically uh, this AWS is um, supporting MongoDB. So this is exactly what we are going to do is we are going to follow the steps to create uh, this environment and set up according to MongoDB configuration. So the first step is to create an environment. So for this, what you need to do is first of all, log in into your AWS and choose a region from here. So you can choose any region that is suitable for you right now. I'm using this Paris region. Now you can just click on create environment. Uh, you are supposed to provide some uh, data. So uh, just like the name. So the name I'm providing is document db because mongodb is a document database cloud9 so this is completely optional you can provide any name that you want if you want a description you can just provide that but it is optional so i'm leaving it as a blank and click on next step here there are some of the environment settings so uh, we are just keeping all the settings as default and click on next then we are supposed to just take a look at these requirements and change if any change is required. We are not changing anything. Just click on create environment. Now what will happen is it will take a few seconds to just create the environment for yourself. Now in this environment, we will be getting a terminal and on this terminal, you can just write all of your commands for MongoDB. Okay, but before that, what do we need to do is we need to perform some other actions as well, such as creating a security group. So uh, we need to create a security group that will enable us to connect uh, this document database cluster uh, with our environment. So first we need to create a security group, then we need to create a cluster and then connect those things with our environment and then we would be able to just perform our uh, mongodb commands so let us first start with creating a security group so for creating the security group what do we need to do is you need to come to this aws management console from here uh, we have uh, this ec2 written in the recently visited services if it is not present here you can go to all services and in the compute, you will find this EC2 again. So just select this EC2. So this will open this EC2 management console. From this, you can just scroll down to network and security on this left hand side of the um, options available. And from network and security, you need to select the security groups. So uh, you can see some of the security groups are already present but what we are going to do is we are going to create a new security group so let us just select this create security group option now uh, in this security group you are supposed to provide a name so let me just enter demo doc db then you can just provide a description uh, this time the description is not optional so let me just provide security as the description then from the vpc you can see uh, there is only one vpc and that's the default one so make sure that is selected now uh, in the inbound rules we need to click on this add rule make sure this uh, custom tcp is selected uh, so tcp is basically a protocol for the port range what we are going to enter is 27017 make sure you are entering the same digits uh, for yourself as well now in this source what you need to type is cloud 9 so you can see uh, we are getting aws cloud 9 with our environment name so our environment name is document database cloud 9 this is exactly what we are getting so this is what you need to select right and then um everything is going to be as it is 
just click on create security group so you need to wait for a few seconds till the security group is being created now uh, you can see in this inbound rules we are having this custom tcp protocol with this port range and this source that is in our virtual environment okay so that's it the next thing that we are going to do is uh, we need to create a cluster so for the creation of the clusters what do we need to do is again open the aws management console now uh, in the aws management console uh, if you see in the recently visited services there is something listed as amazon uh, document db so uh, this is what you need to follow if it is not listed in the recently uh, visited services you can just find it somewhere in the services section so it is listed over here so i'm just going to click on here then from this uh, we need to create a cluster okay so you can see uh, there is this option on the right hand side create an amazon document db cluster so let's just click on launch here we will get an option to create the cluster okay so uh, what do we need to do is make some changes for the instance class suppose uh, we need to select db t3 medium that is for 4 gb ram and the number of instances select to one so this will help to minimize the cost of running our services and the other settings are needed to be left as default uh, now for the authentication purposes you can provide a username and a password so this is for the master user that means that uh, if you are using a master user you will have all the information all the permissions in your database now what does this means we will discuss later on but right now you can just provide a, a user let me just provide a mongo the name of my user is going to be mongo and you need to provide a password so any password of your choice you can just enter it here and confirm this password over here then um, this is all after setting the username and the password uh, what we can do now is go to this advanced settings so make sure to toggle this button uh, in the advanced settings we have something called network settings so in the network settings you see right now we are having a default security group but we don't want the default security group because we have created our own security group right so let's just remove that and select the security group that we have created over here uh, which is actually this um, demo doc vpc okay so let's remove this and make sure demo doc db is selected okay and uh, then what we can do is create cluster is um, this option create cluster we can just click on this option so now what will this do it will create the cluster for us if you want you can click on save password now you see uh, we created one instance that is why one of its replica is being created and this is the cluster that is being created if you want more information you can just click on this cluster and you see its current status is creating so you need to wait until the current status of this cluster changes to available then only you would be able to work with it okay so basically all the necessary steps that are required we have performed those steps the only thing now required is to just attach our virtual environment uh, with the information of this cluster and uh, this cluster is already associated with our security group so as soon as we install the mongo shell uh, in our virtual environment and connect it with this cluster we would be good to go now what is a cluster why do we need it this is all uh, that you need to understand so uh, this is all for this video in which we have learned all the setting up procedure in the next video we will discuss about the clusters their importance and how uh, will they help us in performing this mongodb operations so that's all for this video thanks for watching